website called Ministries to Community Food Pantry. Um, what it is is a uh, service uh, where we provide groceries to families on, that reside on the north side, 15212 area, well, zip code, uh, 15233 and 15214. So it's a very large area that we serve here on the north side. Who's accepted? Anyone and everyone. Anyone in need, we will serve. Um, but the, the main thing is just for them to live in our area. Um, we serve anyone above the age of 18, um, anyone in a, in a household that can be accounted for, seniors, babies, toddlers, everybody. Okay. Well, in the pantry, uh, we have, um, it's pretty much food that we uh, focus on. Um, but we do uh, have other uh, services here in Northside Common Ministries, from GED programs, we have a men's shelter upstairs, and we have um, other, uh, like a, a CAP program to also uh, uh, help the you know, public. We, um, but here in the pantry, we pretty much just focus on food, and uh, the types of food we get in are uh, you know, non-perishables, and sometimes we also have uh, fresh produce uh, um, brought in to us from uh, you know, other local businesses. Um, what, we are, uh, what we find is that during the holidays, we see this, you know, a lot of people uh, open their hearts, I guess, in a, in a sense, and, you know, they want everyone to be able to have that holiday meal, but I, we would also get, want to get people thinking about um, our clients having meals on any given day and off season, like not the holiday, like in the middle of, you know, April. Well, there's Easter, but uh, like in May, uh, and, uh, and it's an ongo ongoing need, you know. Yeah, we have volunteers that uh, that come in. Um, it, it varies from day to day how many people volunteer because it is volunteer based. Uh, but uh, we 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 do want to put that call out that we are always in need of volunteers because. Uh, like you said, there's only one paid individual, and everyone else here is a volunteer. And um, if you go around and count, it's about 12 people that we need on site to help help our day move smoothly and uh, you know and uh, effectively. And so the clients are you know not just waiting around. You know, a lot of people have to get to work, and uh, you know we only have a three-hour time frame that we're open, and um, you know it's a lot that goes on here. It's a, it's a host of tasks. Um, it, we have an in, a volunteer intake. We have some, someone doing numbers. What that means is uh, we delegate out numbers and uh, we try to keep a track of who's next uh, because they get called twice on that one number. So sometimes it can create a little bit of confusion. And when we have a lot of individuals in, it's hard to hear uh, you know, the next number. Um, and we have people to break down food, sort food, give out food, stock shelves, help clients shop. We have a lot of seniors uh, that come in and you know, sometimes the food is just too heavy for them. So we have um, volunteers that help them just go around our shopping facility and um, you know, help get something. And then um, go ahead. And we have cart pushers. Um, and they, they are also in a, something we need to help uh, our day move smoothly. Day to day, um, coming up, our needs will be uh, a focus. Our, one of our needs we're focusing in on our volunteers, and uh, we're looking for people in the community, around the community, to host food drives for us. Not only for the holiday, but after the holiday. Um, uh, we, our numbers do drop, but we still have a lot of people that come in to utilize the pantry. It's just during the holidays we see over a thousand individuals, and with some of the other pantries closing, the uh, the burden has increased on us as a uh, as a business. So uh, we were not able to purchase you know, all the food uh, that we need to have on our shelves for our clients. So we we, we are making a call for. Uh, for anyone to host a, a food drive for us, and for uh, anyone to come in Monday through Friday and help us 
help us serve our clients um, in an effective and efficient